So a while back, I introduced to you the concept of an if-else statement. And if you probably noticed by now, the if-else statement only gives us two options, and that is whether the conditional statement is true or false. And then depending on which state it becomes, it only gives us two possible outcomes, really. But what if we wanted to do additional checks to it? Let's say our user wanted to get the letter grade of a test score. Then what would we do? We can't do it with just a simple if-else statement. In that case, we would have to extend our if-else statement to some Something that takes on more than just one conditional checks it would have to take on about like let's say five to six I believe and that's what we're going to be learning today hi my name is Eric and in today's episode I'm gonna be teaching you about the if-else statement except this time we're gonna cover even more conditional statements so in order to do that we're gonna learn how to extend it by adding on something called the else if so if we were to do a quick refresher, the if else statement is like this, if parentheses and then the conditional statement inside of here, followed by curly brackets that will show statements if true. So statements to print if conditional statement is true. And then else statements to show if conditional statement is false. So as you can see, it's just one or two possible scenarios. But what if we wanted to have more scenarios and more checks? Then what we would do is first, let's say this is conditional one. First off, let's delete this else statement. And then right after the curly brackets that closes for the if statement, you would type in else if and in parentheses, curly brackets. And then inside here, you would type in your next conditional statement, conditional statement two. And then inside the curly brackets, as you probably have guessed, statements to run if conditional statement two is true. Now do note that you could type as many else if statements as you'd like, as long as it fits the needs of your program. So else if, let's say conditional statement three, and then statements to run if conditional statement three is true. So what's going on here is that first it runs this, if this is false, it would do the second check. If that is false, it would run the third check. If that is true, it would run these statements and then it'll exit the if else else if statement. And then you can also finally end it off with an else statement just to capture any conditions that you did not consider up here. Otherwise, the program will freak out about it. So you could, you could do something like cout invalid input. Okay, so the program that we're gonna be making today to demonstrate this concept is the test score program. So let's say the user wanted to get the letter grade of the test score that they got. So in order to do that, let's create a variable that will store the test score that the user will input. So int score. And then let's print out some instructions. So please enter your score. And then see in score. So that will store the score value from the user's input. And then now let's do the tedious part of creating our if else else if statement. So if the score is less than 60 and the score is greater than or equal to zero, it's an F. So C out F. And then else if the score is greater than or equal to 60 and the score is less than 70 so this is how you do ranges this is within the range of 60 and 70 then see out d and the next score is greater than or equal to 70 and score is less than 80 then C out C. Else if score is greater than or equal to 80 and score is less than 90, then it must be the letter B. And then else if score is greater than or equal to 90, and score is less than equal to 100, then it's an A. 
Okay, so at this point, you can add an else if for an A plus scenario where score is greater than 100, but we're gonna keep things simple here and end it off with an else statement to capture all other values. So in that case, since we're stopping it off from zero to 100 range, that means if the user entered a negative number or a number bigger than 101, then the program would complain about it. But since we're gonna add an else statement, this is what's going to show up if they inputted a score that is a negative or a number that is bigger than 100. So see out, please enter a number that is within 0 to 100. Thank you. So if we were to run this program and give it a test, it should do as what we've predicted it to be. So let's say we have a score of 45. That's an F. So as you can see, F. And then let's say we entered a score of 89. That should be a B. So as you can see, the letter B. And then let's see. And then let's say we have a borderline score of 90. So that should be an A. As you can see, the letter A is right there. Now let's say we have a typo and we accidentally typed a negative number. So let's say negative 10. As you can see, it shows the else statement message, which is please enter a number that is within the range of 0 to 100. Thank you. And then let's do that again, but this time with a number bigger than 100. So let's say 1000, enter. As you can see, it shows the same message because it's outside of the range. And that concludes our tutorial for if else statements. In the next tutorial, we're going to learn something called switches, which is basically the same thing, except everything is gonna be a lot more cleaner because as you can see, there's a lot of things going on right here that could get a little messy and confusing to keep track of, especially if you want to, let's say inside the statements, you have another if else statement to do more checking. And then let's say inside of that one, we have another if else statement and it gets really, really tricky and really, really messy to juggle around and keep track of. So that is what we're gonna solve in the next tutorial. So we're gonna recreate this entire program using switch statements. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe if you loved it. And be sure to hit that notification button because I'm gonna be uploading a new video soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.